Green Valley took some of the strongest hits from last night's storms. Nine on your side's Craig Smith met people there sorting out the damage. Almost any place you go in Green Valley, any place you see a dip in the road, you tend to see this pileup of sand that is the giveaway that when the storm was at its peak, this was full of water. But most of the damage we saw was not from water. It was from wind. Trees in Ocotillos were down. Wait a minute, that's not my chair. Margaret Bag is still sorting out the way the wind scrambled some things around her house. Some delicate things were unharmed while the wind moved heavy objects. It was spotty. And you said this bench was tumbled out? That bench was twice rolled over. Tina Hart was worried water would make it into her house, but it stayed dry. She's planning to prepare for the next time strong winds blow in. I think we're going to start moving a bunch of stuff into the inner patios that's out in the yard because it was knocked over and I don't want it to fly into somebody else's yard or break a window or something. So we're going to batten down the hatches a little bit better tonight. The storm knocked down a high capacity power line and draped a power cable across the intersection at La Cañada and Duval Mine Road. Tucson electric crews were working to repair the line along with many other locations. By mid-afternoon, the company website reported about 2,700 customers still out of power to help them keep themselves and their food cool. TEP handed out water and ice. It's good, at least, you know, it's not their fault, but they're helping out with the community so that nobody, you know, loses the things that they can salvage at that. And while they clean up from Thursday night storms, people in Green Valley know more storms are in the forecast. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.